Hey all, welcome to Ron's Tech Reviews. Today is the build vlog part 2. If you haven't seen the part 1 where I have done the asset clean, asset flush and the pH balance of this radiator. If you haven't seen that, go watch it. I'm going to drop the pop up right now. I'll also leave a description down below after you watch this video, you can go watch that one. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys the components that I'll be using in my custom water cooling loop, especially this uh, three in one CPU pump block reservoir compo, uh, combo, <laughs> combo, combo in the to cool my CPU. I'll not be doing the GPU. Uh, well, I was planning on do, doing the GPU also, but since the GPU market is a bit iffy, I don't want to risk my 6900 XT that I got at near MSRP. So I'm not going to risk that. I'm just going to do the CPU and let's see how this goes. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please leave a like before you leave. So let's get to the video. I've already done a video on this CPU pump press block. If you haven't watched that yet, click on the pop up right now. I'll also leave a description down below. So let's get to see what all the components that I'm using in this build. So here's everything that I'm going to be using. Uh, well, I guess this is everything. I am not sure yet, but I'll just give you a quick rundown. Well, the CPU pump block rest. This is another reservoir. Uh, it's a box fixed reservoir from Barrow. This is on uh, the pump block is also from Barrow. We have all the connectors. Uh, they are all mostly from EKWB or Barrow. I'll be using based on how much I'll need. Mostly it's just extenders like this one. Drain for this is basically a valve. So this is for draining the loop. I'll be using this and several right angle fittings. The 16, 12, 16 STC fittings from EKWB. And of course the tubes, a lot of them. Then some for added uh, bling, you could say. <laughs> then we, I have this, basically uh, it shows the flow of the water. It does not give you any readings, but you can see the water flowing as there is a propeller inside so which turns as the water flows this is a pressure uh, release valve so if in case for some reason the pressure is building up inside the loop this will automatically release the extra pressure if like if you're like me and is worried that this uh, there might be an extra pressure build up and which could leak which could lead to some leaks so this is something that is useful you can use in your loop as this motherboard has a water temperature pro uh, headers I can use these uh, water temperature probes and this will go into the reservoir. So this can be attached at the inlet and the outlet. And then I can say that, okay, based on this temperature, control the fan speed and the pump speed. I have two of those. Uh, so one is for inlet and one is for the outlet. This is a small bottle of uh, prep uh, liquid from Primofil. I'll be using just distilled water and this one just to clean out the loop once it's built inside the system. Other than that, several more extenders like 8mm uh, eight, eight extenders, 50mm extenders, 40mm extenders. So just in case I would require any extenders, I have bought a bunch of those. Uh, one thing to note when you're water cooling your loop, uh, when you're planning on a custom water cooling loop, if possible, just and if it's like over here in Qatar, it's very expensive to get these components. If you're buying sourcing it outside the country, it's better to buy more than you require than less because it's cheaper to ship them all together rather than finding oh i missed out this particular part and i need that particular part so i need that shipped so it just increases the shipping cost so get all what you want in one go buy something extra if you feel like you don't require and require it anymore you could just sell it off i have this also uh, it's a filter I'm not sure that anybody requires this kind of filters uh, because as I've shown you, I've already done the main acid flux, acid flush of the radiator. Uh, I don't think there might be much debris inside the pump and reservoir. I could just wash it off with water, distilled water, not normal water. Just to, for the initial cleaning of the loop, I'll use this and I think I'll leave it there. Last but not the least, uh, this uh, EKWB leak tester. So if you want to save some time, you don't want to run the loop and check for leaks manually, risking some leaks in your system. You could just go ahead after you build your loop, just pump this, use this to pump your system with air and see if there is any leaks. So if you see a drop in pressure, meaning there's a leak somewhere. So this is pretty useful for me. I want to save as much time as possible, get this done because I, this is the only PC that I have. I have a laptop. But however, I like working on my PC when I am especially at home. 
so i want it as soon as up and running so this is going to be useful so this is all the components and that's about it so let's get to it i'll just give you a brief overview the cpu pump plug obviously will come over here while the reservoir i'll be using on the back side of the Li and Li pco 11 case uh, if you haven't noticed there is a section where nothing goes on to over here i have measured everything out and i'll be using that part to have this pump block reservoir over here in case any of you guys are building your first loop and you have no idea how to go about it and you want to plan your build a simple way of doing is get model of your case and then plan out your loop in that so i've used this vectory site you can use any other free online software where you can load a cad image if you live in Qatar and you don't want to go through the hassle of building a custom water-cooled PC, then check out these awesome builds from Stone 974. They have their build service and I will drop the link down in the description below. Get yours at Store 974. So here's to me hoping everything goes well. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. So with the loop completed, I started testing if there is any leaks in the loop. For that, I used the EKWB leak tester. Over here, I have pumped it somewhere in between the green zone. So let's check it after 15 to 30 minutes. A few minutes later. 30 minutes later, it's literally not moved. So my loop is all well built. So let's get to filling it. Before that, let's see how the loop is connected. The coolant will flow from the radiator down this tube on the top to the box fish. Reservoir. Obviously the reservoir collects all the coolant and then it goes directly into the pump CPU block. And from the CPU pump block it comes out and it goes to the radiator. Now I'll be using the pretreatment from Premochill and this will go into the distilled water. You just have to use 5 ml of this pretreatment into 1 liter of distilled water solution. With that just give it a strong shake to have it nicely mixed and then I go about filling the loop. Good morning guys, uh, I'm back. Uh, it's been almost 12 hours since the pump has been running. Uh, almost all the bubbles are out, but we are not doing for the bubbles. As you've seen that I have already done the pre-treatment of the loop. So as the pre-treatment is being done, uh, it has to stay on the system for 12 hours. The system has to run. Just in case there is any leaks, I kept some kitchen towels, but that wasn't I just for my peace of mind because overnight i don't know what's happening so i just left it on now it's going to be time for me to drain this out and fill in the coolant and hopefully everything is okay let's see after i fully build up end up building up the system everything works properly <laughs> probably <laughs> everything works pro uh, properly and everything is detected hopefully everything goes well
So with that I have completed my build and I am so happy and excited to use my PC with this custom water cooling loop. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to click the like button and if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. Click on the subscribe button to be stay tuned because I will be uploading a video reviewing this CPU water block from Barrow and see how it fares against the reviews I have made on the air coolers and the AIOs that I have done earlier in this channel. If you haven't watched those videos, click on the pop up on the top right corner now and you can go watch my other videos where I have reviewed the AIOs from NZXT, Corsair and EKWB and a couple of air coolers. That's all for now guys, thank you for staying till the end of the video, bye bye.